this time it's almost we know how to say thank you, thank you for another day's journey realizing it could have been the other way around that we could have been laying someplace in some funeral home or in the hospital someplace father God, not knowing that we were there but lord because of your grace and your glorious mercy you allowed us to rise again this morning close in our right mind with a reason yeah. for portion of help this day and Lord, we, 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 we thank you that you allowed us to return to your house once more. One more time. Because we realize, Father God, when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Yes. We were blessed this morning, Father God, to be able to get up and put on our garments to come out to your house. Thank you you said as often as we do this, Father God, you will bless us, Father God. Yes. You will keep us covered and anointed to do your holy and divine will, Lord. Oh, Lord, cover us as we go over the dangerous highways and byways because now, Father God, the devil is upset with us. Yes. And he's steady trying to see who he can devour. Yes. Oh, Lord God, it's, it's, it's getting worse and worse each and every day driving right two and four because the enemy is trying to attack us everywhere we go. Yes. Even in our homes, Father God, we find that people are rebelling against us, Father God. Only because of the adversary is trying to intercede with the things that we are trying and praying for, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we ask you to bless the ones that's down there in the White House, Father God. Yes. That's making all kinds of decisions, Father God. Even though a lot of them are false, Father God. Yes. Oh, Lord God, we ask you to continue to cover your people, Lord God. Yes. Bless us, Father God. Give us the strength and the will and the desire to go on in your name. Oh, Lord God, when we feel that we don't have the strength to move, Father God, we ask you to give us the strength, Lord God. Yeah. When we feel, Father God, that we have done all that we can do and can't do no more, Lord God. Give us the will to go on, Lord God. When, when, when we feel, Father God, that you're not listening to us, Father God, reveal to us, Father God, that, that you are carrying us, Father God. We realize, Father God, that a lot of times, Father God, it seems that you are a distance. It's not that you are, Father God. It's just the trick of the adversary. Amen. Oh, Lord God, mold and make us what we need to be in these last and evil days. Amen. Bless our young children, Father God. Amen. Bless the teachers that are teaching the young ones in school, Lord God. Bless even the ones, Father God, are teaching in colleges, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we need you on every leaning and bend inside. Oh, Lord God, we can't do nothing without you. We didn't wake ourselves up this morning. It was you that woke us up. It was you that started us on our way. It was you that gave us the 
the desires that we, we have desired this morning to have certain things for breakfast, Lord. Certain things to put on our back, certain cars to drive on. It was you, not us, Lord. Oh, Lord God, continue to give us the strength and will and desire to do things in your name. When we open our eyes in the morning, let us be able, Father God, to always say thank you, Lord. Yeah. Realizing it's you and not us. Yeah. Because it could be the other way around. Yeah. Now, Lord God, bless you, Union Baptist, as a whole, Father God. Yeah. Bless us to keep us, Lord God, doing things that's pleasing in your mind of sight. Yeah. Because one day, Father God, when it's all said and done, yeah. we want to come home, yeah. Father God, and live eternally with you. Yeah. Oh, we need you, Father God, on every leaning in side. Yeah. Continue, Father God, to lead and guide us. Yeah. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. Amen. This is our prayer in Jesus. your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. No, I've been changed. even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Amen. Amen. We thank God for his wonderful word. This is a blessing to us, a lamp unto our feet to guide us when we are in darkness, and a blessing to our soul. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, strength and my redeemer amen. and the church said amen. amen I'm so glad to have you with us today and God has truly touched my heart with the word to give you amen. and I think that if you want to put a title to this amen I'm here but I better lift my feet up well. I'm here but I better lift up my feet. How's that? I'm here. But I better lift up my feet. Help, Lord, help. I'm here, yet God.
gracefully broken. I've been through a lot, Lord. We all have. And I'm needing you to help me through it today, Lord. Lord, I'm, I'm hurting because there's so many things that have gone wrong and I don't know who else to turn to. Here we are, God, going through all of our problems that we seem to come over and over again. Get one and here comes another one. Pains and difficulty. Situations holding my hands, uplifted do I lift them up to you, Lord calling on the mighty name of your darling son, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Here I am, Lord, but I know I better lift up my feet because I got to get moving. Yes, sir. Moving. Moving to you, Lord. And, and I got to run to you every day, Lord, not just one day, but every day. Yet, Lord, I lift up my feet so they don't get trampled on from life so much. I lift up my feet because sometimes I got to get moving when it seems that everything is going slow. But help me to have the patience to know that everything comes in your timing. Let me tell you something. Uh, I have a, a game on my phone. Some of y'all probably have games on your phone. Uh, a lot of young ladies and older women, they like that wonderful, uh, what is it, jelly pop or jellies and uh, candy land, candy crush. Uh-huh, y'all yeah, know which one I'm talking about. And you, you play these games. And, and I have a game I play, it's called Galaga, Galactica, whatever. It's just, it's a game that I, when I'm sitting at work and nobody's paying me no attention, y'all know how. You, you, you get your little minute of lunch or whatever, you play your game, your candy crush. Your, and, 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 and in this particular game, while playing it, if I rush to the top, here I am playing, if I rush to the top, because all the rewards are at the top, gives you so many rewards. But if you rush to the top, you get killed. Over, well, oh, done, game over, done. So you learn to be patient and, and, and shoot the aliens and shoot the ships as they, they give you to you so you don't have to rush. Because if you rush to collect the reward, it's going to cost you your life. In the game. Well, let me tell you something. If you try to rush God, because you say, God, here I am, I'm hurting, and you try to rush him, it might cost you your life. Yes, sir. You got to take your time. Did you hear what I said? Yes. You got to take your time and go through life as God gives it to you. And, 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 and the reason I also ask you to lift your feet up today is because I'm going to step on some of y'all toes. Uh -oh. In Matthew 15, 79, it describes what false worship is. Yes. Talks about it. But then Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. He said, these people honor me with what they say, but their hearts are nowhere near me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Their worship doesn't mean anything to me. They teach nothing but human rules. We, 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 we talk of good stuff, don't we? We, we talk about rules. Yes. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. But here came a man called Jesus. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Jesus taught us that those rules don't mean anything if you're not living correctly as God wants you to live. Right. That's why he always had to fight with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And he always had to tell them that you vipers and then snakes. You do one thing, you lie, you cheat, you steal. Some of us 
are doing the same thing even in our churches. Ruled by human rules rather than change found through Jesus Christ. Come on now, how many Christians in their churches rely on their time out of traditions rather than saving and serving true understanding of the principles Jesus taught? Let me, let me break this down for you. Come on, come on. Listen. We have a tendency to look at people instead of worship. We put our onus on the people instead of God. Yeah. When you come to worship service, you come for the experience of your life. <laughs> the other day, what got me into this sermon was when I heard somebody say, well, I go to church, but I don't get nothing out of it. Y'all yeah. yeah. got it in my words. <laughs> I said, well, and I try to be as diplomatic as possible Without, without telling them, you sir. <laughs> Listen, you get in what you put out. You, you put this in, you're going to get something out of it. What do you bring, what do you bring to the service besides your $2 and, 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 your, and your criticism of everything? In John 4, 5, and 9, it tells about a Jesus meeting a woman at the well. Come on with me. In Samaria, Jesus came to the town called Sychar, which is near Jacob's well. Jesus was tired from his long trip. So the disciples went into town to purchase food. Y'all with me? And, and Jesus sat down beside the well. It was about noon. You know, sometime around noon, lunchtime, you're tired. Finish working, you sit down, you relax. Then a Samaritan woman came to the well to get some water. And Jesus, that old great man, that old wonderful, wonderful man, the Son of God, sitting at the well at the same time. Jesus mm -hmm. knew where to be everywhere. Then it's something. There's nowhere to be all the time. I'm talking to the women for a minute here. Sometimes the man you want is just sitting right there. You just got to look for him and wait on him. Well. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Jesus said to her, please give me a drink. The woman was surprised, wasn't she? Yeah. She said, you asked me for a drink? You a Jewish man. You, 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 you don't speak to me. And I'm a, a Samaritan woman. Hmm? You, you, you don't speak to us. Unless you want some money. Unless you want something. You, you don't say nothing to us. But this woman was in God's presence. Come on, that's what I'm trying to get you on. When you come to the God's house, you are in his presence. And no matter what's going on in your life, when you are in his presence, you can ask for anything. So, so this is where the, the problem is. I saw it and I said, let me bring this in. She was so unfocused. She didn't realize it. And many of us have been in God's presence. And we just are like that same old Samaritan woman. We haven't realized it because we were focused on what was going on in the world. And around us, the woman at the well was very unfocused. She was unfocused. And, and, and Jesus had to bring her back. You see, we, we got problems. Come on, y'all with me. We know we got situations. We know we got things going on in our life. We know we got to go to the doctor. We got to go to physical therapy. We got to take medication. We got to get up, sore bones. We got arthritis, a sickle cell, diabetes. We got all kinds of problems. But yet we still get unfocused because when you focus on God, your whole day is filled with him. Your whole day is filled with 
God, so much so that you don't even have to say amen to you lay down in the bed. The woman at the well was unfocused because she did was think about her own plight. And you know we got some problems. But in verse 10 and 12, we see Jesus gently helping this woman to focus on him. Yeah. Focus on me. Yeah. That's right. I'm here. Yeah. Remember my title? I'm here. Yeah. But you better lift up your feet. Because you, you need to come on over here <laughs> and hear what I'm trying to tell you. Focus on me. And let me tell you something. If you only knew, Jesus says, the free gift of God and who is it that asking you for water, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Jesus, this is getting interesting. Ooh. You know, you gotta step back for a minute sometimes. Yes, sir. Who is this man? What? Oh, well, well. First thing she said, well, sir, where will you get this living water? I don't know about y'all, but I got my feet ready to run now. I hear living water. Mm -hmm. The well is very deep, she says, and you have nothing to get water with. Yeah. <laughs> you, you sit here, you, you mess with my head. <laughs> Are you greater than Jacob? Well. Our father who gave us this well and drank from it himself along with his sons and his flocks. Are you better than Jacob? This is where it gets interesting. And now, Jesus is focusing on her, giving her information that will turn her toward eternal life. Your focus, here I am, I'm here. Come on with me. What we worship is always revealed by the way we live. Jesus cut to the heart of the matter, spoke directly about the state of this woman's life. Hmm? Yeah. What was her focus? We don't really know what it was, but we know what it, it was not God. That's the problem with us. Our focus is not on God. It's on everything else. I don't have no money. I don't, I don't have this. I got to do this. Our focus is Strays away from the source of the living water. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> then, then Jesus starts to really hit a heart. Jesus says, uh, you've been married multiple times. She says, oh, I've been married no What? And and the man you're living with now is not your husband. Oh, that's going to make you shrink bad, isn't it? That's going to make it go. <laughs> what do you think her priorities were? Sex? Let me tell you something about sex. <laughs> you know if you're not doing it with your husband or wife, it's wrong. Let me tell you something else about sex. If you get caught up in trying to follow after that, after a while, you're going to weigh yourself out. A lot, of, a lot of men get caught up and then all of a sudden they get in this uh, 60s and they wonder <laughs> why I gotta take this pill now. Y'all got quiet, man. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all What about some sex? You need to put your focus on God. Yeah. When your focus is on God, oh, y'all, come on, somebody. Yeah. Well, maybe her, her focus was on security. Be secure. I gotta have this one. I gotta have that one. I need this one. You'd have been through more men <laughs> than a country has soldiers. <laughs> you, you need to slow down. Well, and every man is gonna have problems. Everybody got problems. We all messed up. Yeah. 
You start jumping around from this man and that man, this man, oh, he had this, but you get to this man and he just is worse than the other. Security is in God. Oh. There is nowhere else to be found. Acceptance. How about maybe she was looking for acceptance? You 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 see it on Instagram and Facebook and all over now. Everybody trying to get likes. Everybody trying to, to get this and that. You want to be accepted. I know somebody who's never told you that you were wrong about anything except not coming to church. I know somebody who's been with you when you wake up telling you, you look all right. I know somebody who loves you no matter what's going wrong in your life. This is acceptance. This is my acceptance. Listen to me. Listen to me. When I wake up in the morning, I thank God, get up, and when I get to the mirror, I say, Lord, thank you. I'm just human. I'm only human, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me. And Lord, I need you to help me through the day. Yes. I know I'm going to have problems. But Lord, help me. Because again, I'm only human. And I know that if I have you, everything going to be all right. Oh, y'all, come on. So. That's your focus. You're only human. You, you can't be in 10 places at once. You can't pay everybody else's bill. Everybody coming at you trying to get this from you, trying to do it. You are only human. The problem was that she met Jesus and he was trying to use her in the right way. But the other ones didn't value her enough to actually marry her. What did this woman worship? Did she focus on wanting to be loved and accepted? Did she focus on her need for security? What was it that kept her mind from worshiping God? It was everything that the world throws at us. It was all types of things. Drinking and fornicating and lying and cheating and thinking you're having a good time because all you're looking for is some pleasure. Help us. Yes, Lord. Pleasure principle is not it. So true. So true. I'm not going to be long with you. But if you have an unfocused mind, it leads to an unfocused life. And an unfocused life leads to an unfocused faith. Y'all come on with me as I. We ain't gonna keep you long, but this is a story. Come on with me. I threw this one together myself. Y'all welcome to steal it. Okay. It's a black man. We gonna call him the hard-working brother. He works hard, believes in God, but he works so hard that when he gets off on Sunday, he's dirty. He's mighty dirty. But he wants to get to church, and there's a church he finds that's open when he gets off. The closest church because he works way out. And his work clothes, he had to go because he couldn't get there no other way. So he eventually is to the closest church. Y'all know the closest church? Come on. This, this Sunday, come on with me. Right after the work day, one Sunday, he attends the church. Yeah. This was a fine church. It was a nice church. It had everything, bells and whistles. It had everything. You name it, they brought you water. You name it. They bought you tissue. You needed this, they gave it to you. You wanted a fan, here it came. You, you wanted to do whatever you wanted. They had it for you. It was the finest church you could imagine. He walks in. Oh, still a little country town church, but it was the best. And the most extremely influential. You know what it is when you be 
speech and gets up there, on God's sent to me. And there is no way to get on that. Oh, and that. Of course, the people wore the suits, the finest. That's the best shoes. Mm -hmm. the, the best clothes. Finest hats. They had, they had a hat club.
Amen. God bless you. 